This Week in Gaming. I've got to do the show! This is Jesse Earl, and guess what? Ubisoft is still rich. At their annual earnings report meeting, we learned that we can look forward to the returns of some of our favorite series. A new Far Cry that's rumored to be set in Montana, a new Assassin's Creed that we know is going to be set in Egypt, The Crew 2, which is going to play more on the crew's open world racing concept, and the South Park Fractured But Whole game coming this year. And finally, Ubisoft has teased us with a brand new multiplayer IP that we can expect to see sometime in 2019, which is more than soon enough because I am tired of grinding my Dark Elf Druid. Destiny 2 has been described by Bungie as a new beginning for players both new and old. And that was envisioned by three core concepts. It's a world that pulls you in, amazing things to do, and always having someone to play with. Based on what we know now from their event in LA, they seem to have nailed it. Also, the Crucible will now be available for all 4v4 multiplayer modes. Bungie is introducing a new system called Guided Games, which will let players who prefer to play as a lone wolf group up with in-game clans to tackle some of the harder end-game content, such as raids, trials, and the nightfall. For our PC friends who will be joining in on Destiny for the first time, you'll be happy to know that Destiny Launcher will run through Blizzard's Battle.net, and that while the console versions were capped at 30 FPS, PC will have an uncapped frame rate. In Destiny 2, we will also see the introduction of some new classes, such as the Warlock's Dawnblade, the Titan Sentinels, and the Hunter's Arc Strider, as well as a change to the old weapon system. The new system gives you three weapon slots to use, called Kinetic, Energy, and Power. This makes it sound like players are going to have much more customization over their loadouts. Finally, Bungie is saying that the game will launch with new strikes, new PvP modes, and unfortunately, only one raid. But as longtime fans of the series know, we can expect to see some great raids coming very soon. The extremely successful Witcher video game franchise was based on the incredible stories written by Andrev Sapkowski. These stories are now going to give birth to the brand new Witcher Netflix series. The show's executive producers are confirmed as Sean Daniels from the Mummy franchise and Jason Brown from The Expanse. While we don't know right now if the show will be live action, CG, or a mixture of both, one thing that we're all thinking is please, 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 just don't suck. And how would you like a new Jet Set Radio? Or dare I say it, a new Alpha Protocol? It could be in the stars. Following an earnings report, Sega let it slip that they are very interested in revitalizing old and unused game franchises in the next three years. Sega usually means Sonic, but let's not forget that the company umbrella includes the Total War games, the Fantasy Star series, and the cult hit Persona. When the news broke, developers Obsidian, the studio behind Alpha Protocol, responded with a bit of a teasing joke about a new installment in the series. Sega has already confirmed that they will be bringing the cult classic Vanquish to Steam, and they are currently working on new Sonic Mania as well as Sonic Forces, and there is even a new Yakuza title in the works, so who knows? There might just be enough resources left for Sega to give an already excellent game a major facelift, like a new Jet Set Radio, or maybe give a game that had plenty of potential some much-needed polishing, like a new Alpha Protocol.